Hello, my name is Pearl Uberu, and I am a technical marketing engineer here at Databricks. Remember that there are a few options to ingest data into the lake house. And in the previous videos, I talked about how to ingest using copy into, using the local file upload UI. And today I'll be taking you through part three of the three part video series using auto loader. Ingestion with auto loader allows you to incrementally process new files as they land in cloud object storage while being extremely cost effective at the same time. It can ingest JSON, CSV, Parquet, and other file formats. So let's see how auto loader really works. So here we have an auto loader stream that is reading from S3 and reading to Delta. To invoke auto loader, all you need is this cloud files command. Cloud files automatically streams new files as they arrive. And so first, we need to specify cloud files as the format for our data stream, which in this case is JSON format. Then we load this data to a bronze table where all of our ingested raw data will sit. Using the display function, shows you how quickly our data is being processed and ingested. Let's talk about schema inference. During the load phase, auto loader samples the data set to infer the schema, ensuring that all the data is captured correctly. The specification of the cloud file schema location and the infer column types allow the schema to be automatically inferred, but also automatically determines the proper data type from the JSON file. To further enforce parts of your schema, use schema hints. In this example, we want to ensure that our ID is read as a big integer and not just an integer. Next is schema evolution. In the event the data changes, auto loader automatically detects changes. For example, if a new column was added, auto loader will append the data to the last columns of our delta tables as new data is ingested. Auto loader also ensures that columns that do not match the schema are rescued instead of dropped by creating a rescued data column. This column will contain any JSON formatted data where the column is missing from the schema, data type mismatches, and case mismatches. When there are thousands of files and millions of records to scan to detect new data, it can be an expensive task. Autoloader solves this issue by offering two modes of ingestion. One way is by listing the input directory incrementally. This file listing mode is based on the alphabetical order of the files' path to scan new data in the order or date it's received. There are no permission configurations needed other than access to your data on S3 to have the files listed. Another way to reduce ingestion costs is to configure cloud notifications and message queues. This file notification mode sets up the event notifications and the cloud queue that takes the notifications and queues them up. Auto loader will read the notifications to ingest the files instead of listing the directory each time a new file comes in. However, this mode does require that you configure permissions. The benefits of using auto loader to ingest the data is that the source incrementally processes new files as they land on cloud storage. You don't need to manage any state information on what files arrived. Autoloader can detect schema drifts, notify you when schema changes happen, and rescue any data that may be ignored or lost. Best of all, Autoloader uses native cloud APIs to get lists of files that exist in storage, making file discovery much cheaper. Congratulations! You now know how to ingest data into your lake house using Autoloader. If you're wanting to learn about some other ingestion methods, please check out the other videos on the copy into command 
and the local file upload. 